Outlander Season 4, Everything We Know So Far. Diana Gabaldon just revealed a major spoiler, Droughtlander is officially back. Outlander's Season 3 finale aired back in December of 2017, but that doesn't mean we can't go ahead and get a little bit excited for Season 4. Here's everything we know about it so far, but proceed with caution, spoilers ahead. There will be several new additions to the cast. It was announced in early October that Maria Doyle Kennedy, of Orphan Black and the Tudors, has been cast in the role of Jamie's Aunt Jo Casta Cameron in Ed Spillers, Downton Abbey, Wolf Hall will play Stephen Bonnet, an Irishman pirate and smuggler. The official Outlander Instagram account also shared that these cute pups will play Rolo, young Ian's dog, in the upcoming season. They look cute, but tough, Gabaldon told you. They should be just right to play Rolo when the time comes. And then in February, the Outlander Twitter account shared this image of Rolo all grown up. The season will be based on Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon. The plot of the series will reportedly follow the fourth book in Gabaldon's Outlander saga. Per the author's website, the novel follows Claire, Jamie, and his nephew Ian as they seek to find a place for themselves in the colony of North Carolina, treading a dangerous line between Governor Tryon's patronage and Claire's knowledge of the brewing revolution in America. But at this point, it's unclear how closely the show will follow the details of the books. Gabaldon just shared a major spoiler on Twitter. She tweeted a link to an excerpt from the book Drums of Autumn with the following hashtags. Hashtag Daily Lines Hashtag Drums of Autumn Hashtag Thighs Eyes A Spoiler If I Uhaven Tret Book Hashtag Wahaven Edit Hashtag It's Been Out Since 1996 For Heaven's Sake Hashtag Anyway Hashtag In Which Brianna Meets Someone Important In the passage, Brianna does indeed meet someone important, her father. Jamie Frazier. The first teaser is already here. Stars kicked off Droughtlander with a 20-second sneak peek of Season 4. In the clip above, which aired directly after the Season 3 finale, we see Claire and Jamie in a new land, America. There'll be lots of different people here, all hoping to live what will be called the American Dream, Claire says. We can't wait. The season will have a decidedly different sound. Composer Bear McCreary is known for changing up the score of the show to fit the setting. Take. For example, the French variation of the show's theme song in Season 2 and the Caribbean version of the Skyboat song in Season 3. Historically speaking, we pushed the sound of the score to reflect our character's growth and our geography. Just because the end of Season 3 was so exotic with all the Jamaican stuff, that has to be reversed in a new year, McCreary told Entertainment Weekly. I am in a weird position if you think about it where most of the story took place, in Scotland about Scottish characters, and so Scottish folk music was a really big part of the score and in many ways as connected to the characters of Jamie and Claire. So now they are in America and we are commenting on the geography, but at the end of the day, it's way more important to comment on the characters and comment on their drama and our familiarity with them, he continued. We are seeing everything through their eyes and so I do think their theme that I wrote for them, the presence of bagpipes underscoring Jamie's strength are things that will remain in the show. Actress Katrina Balfe promises IT will as be steamy as ever. Outlander fans have come to expect a certain level of sex appeal from their beloved star's show, and Balfe promises season 4 won't disappoint. When asked about the show's steaminess, Balfe told Elle, Com, I think that's a given at this point. She also shared a bit about the upcoming plot. We see Jamie and Claire as immigrants, as pioneers, and that's a very interesting thing to watch. Balfe said, I think what Scotland meant to Jamie and Claire was such an integral part of the storyline, and so it's really interesting to see these people as immigrants, and how they meet their Native American neighbors and the relationships they forge with them. I'm excited about this season. I think it's going to be really interesting. Producer Ron Moore won't be writing the first episode. Breaking tradition, Ronald Moore revealed he did not write the first episode of season 4 in a recent Twitter chat. Tobias Menzies could make a return to the series. We're still reeling over Frank's shocking death in season 3, but Moore just gave us hope that we might see Menzies again in season 4. When asked is Tobias coming back somehow for season 4? By deadline, Moore responded, I think there's a strong possibility we're going to do that. We've been talking about doing some way of getting Tobias back in the show in season 4, at least for some flashbacks, or some other kinds of sequences. So nothing's been committed yet. But yeah that's on the table. Earlier this year, Menzies told us something similar. You can never say never, he said when I asked if we'd ever see him on the show again. No premiere date has been released, but IT's filming now. Season 4's premiere date has yet to be shared publicly, but the cast and crew are already filming in Scotland now. The goal is to try to be on the air again next fall. Moore told you back in August. Future seasons are all but confirmed. Season 4 likely won't be the last of Outlander. There are 10 books and we are having very productive conversations about the future of the show, Star's CEO Chris Albrecht said at the Television Critics Association press tour on January 12th. We have joined the legions of fans of Outlander around the world. Our biggest concern is making sure that we don't kill Katrina, Balf, and Sam, Huen, along the way, 
he continued, according to Harper's Bazaar, the two of them are fantastic and deserve every bit of the accolades they have received.